This morning on Core Explorers, a celebration of German culture returns to Mount Angel. If you just can't wait until the fall for Oktoberfest, you can check out Volksfest this weekend. Core Harlan joins us live from Mount Angel with a sneak peek of all the fun. Core, now we heard that German sausage is the focus of the celebration, so I know you're in a good mood this morning. Tot totally is. Everybody's in a good mood here this morning. Got a lot of good food coming up this weekend here in Mount Angel. The Volksfest starts at 11 o'clock this morning here at the Big Fest Hall at the uh, south end of uh, Mount Angel. 11 to midnight tonight, 11 to midnight tomorrow, 11 to 6 on Sunday. We've got a lot of stuff to show you here. Front and center, of course, is this delicious sausage, grilled onions, sauerkraut, Bavarian pretzels, a little cheese sauce in there. This is James from the Mount Angel Sausage Company, and I'm telling you what, you and Hudson and you guys, third generation sausage makers, you guys make a pretty darn, and I'm, I consider myself, this just doesn't, the stomach here, Carl, pan to the right, this just doesn't happen by itself, okay? This has this a lot of work involved here, and some of it involves sausage. That's as good a sausage as I've ever tasted. It's really, it's really good. Tell me a little bit about it. So you're a connoisseur, I take it? Uh, well, I love a lot of things, yeah. Uh, yeah, so we made a special product for the Volksfest this weekend. Uh, you can only get it this weekend. Uh, it's a pork and beef uh, smoked sausage that we smoke with apple wood. Uh, it's got a very mild flavor to it. Uh, we use high quality proteins and uh, good spices. It's something that you will only get once a year during the event, and you can get it by the sandwich or in take-home packs. Uh, we take a lot of pride in what we do, and we're pretty proud of that product that we made. There's not a lot of fillers in there, and you're telling me, I'm learning this morning, that the sign of a good sausage, you got to have a little fat in sausage to make it taste good, but not, not dripping and raging out of there. You want to have a little on your fingers when you're done eating it, right? Yeah, correct. So the sign of a good sausage is when you cut it, it doesn't deflate, uh -huh. and all the oil and water runs out. Uh -huh. So when you cut it, you want it to keep its substance and just be a little bit of oil on the outside of the casing. That's a sign of a good product. Well, it's all going to be here. There's a, pull me a little pretzel off of there. I can't walk by a pretzel with cheese sauce and not eat a little bit of it here. That's what it's for. The sauce is for the dipping. Mm. That's good. A lot of local cider, wine, beer makers here this weekend too. We've got one of the specialty cocktails from here this morning. This is called the Pierre. And if you're down here this weekend, ask for the Pierre, because all it is is Paradise Vineyards wine and a little orange juice of your taste, about half and half, Pierre. This is a very good concoction you've come up with here. It's pretty great. It's breakfast. It's a gateway thing. Get you started in the morning. Right? Tell me a little bit about Paradise Vineyards. Uh, we've been growing grapes for about 30 years just outside of Silverton. Uh, it's all family-run, family-operated, um, and owned. Um, and it's just my parents and my brother and I. Well, you're onto something with this Pierre. I'm telling you, that's a great that's a great way to start the morning right there. <laughs> Forget about whatever you may have been drinking, but white wine and orange juice is awesome. The other the other brewers are here. Silver Falls Brewery here too. You'll be serving what this weekend, Eric? Drift Creek Kolsch is what we'll be serving Drift this week. Kolsch, and it's a lighter, kind of a easier gateway beer, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's yeah. good for your uh, you know light drinkers. Uh, but it's, a, it's very clean and crisp, and it's got a little bit of malt flavor in it. It's a German style, so it's perfect for this weekend. I may or may not be able to tell you, too, it goes good with sausage. Maybe, because I may or may not have had a couple of glasses of it already this morning. And then Bauman Farms. We go down there for Halloween all the time with the, uh, the uh, apple cannon out there for Halloween. You'll be serving uh, this Loganberry cider, which is, I, I, I told people last hour, I had that at Savi Island a couple hot summers ago. It hit the spot. Right. Our Loganberry is definitely our number one seller and is grown right here in Jervis. Uh, it's a beautiful gray, or berry. Mm -hmm. um, they consider it the quintessential berry flavor. Mm -hmm. Well, it's quintessential when it hits your mouth. It's called Volksfest, and it is an Oktoberfest, which is usually in September. We're having it instead in early February, if all that math makes any sense to you. It starts at 11 o'clock this morning, goes to midnight tonight here at the Fest Hall, I said, here at the south end of Mount Angel. Come on down here because it's like Oktoberfest without all the crowds. A lot of the good food is still here. A lot of the good drink is over here. Make sure to get yourself a Pierre or a Bauman cider here 
And don't forget the pretzels with a little bit of cheese sauce in there. You got the whole swirl right in there. You do. You got to go full smorgasbord. You got to get everything. Yeah. Pretzels, sausage, crowd, beer, I think, beer, you know, wine, uh, cider. Uh, soft pretzels up there with a good bratwurst or a sausage. Like, oh. I don't know. Don't make, me, don't make me choose. Soft pretzels. Why pick one when you I could know. have both? Mm -hmm. <laughs> with the cheese sauce. Mm. Yeah. It looks like fun. So I good. like that. I mean, Oktoberfest gets gets all the, you know, all the shine in October. So it's nice to have in September and October. So it's nice to have a, a spring yeah. festival. You know, halfway a through the year. Intermediate yeah, exactly. sausage <laughs> celebration. I like it.